Hello and welcome to this new Android development course. This is part one of how to make a drawing app for Android. So in this video we will set up the basics and continue with our application. So we open our Android Studio IDE and click on start a new Android Studio project. Here we click on empty activity and then we click on next. In, here in my application, we will change the name to um, drawing drawing app, for example, okay? We will set the language to Java and we will set the minimum API level to 17 this time, okay? Now we will click on finish and we will wait for the IDE to load our application. So we have set this time 17 because uh, 17 almost targets the whole Android um, market share. Okay, so right now we have our Android Studio project set up right here and we have to continue to create our drawing application. To do this, we will go to our um, Okay, let me hide this right here. We will open our manifest file and we will set the activity orientation to portrait, okay? So we have set to portrait because our um, drawing app will be in portrait mode. Okay, so now that we have done this, we will run, now actually before running we will change the default uh, layout file with the linear layout. So we go under the rest folder and then under the layout folder and we right click on the activity main.xml file and we will click on delete. We can make sure you have these uh, two options unchecked and then click on OK. Now that we have deleted, we will create a new one. Um, so we'll go right click new right click on the layout uh, folder so right click new layout resource file and here we will also say set the name to activity main as you can see but the root element will be changed to lineal layout as you can see now we click on ok and the ide will generate this new code for us if we switch to the text mode we can see that we have the linear layout we requested. If we run this, I will run this on the emulator, so if we run this app right now, we will see how it's looking like on the device. So now I'm compiling and I will run the app on the emulator in the left side of the screen so you can see. Okay, so we wait for the app to be compiled and I will switch to the emulator to uh, wait for the app to run. So right here will be the emulator, which was set up using Android Studio. And it's taking quite some time. Maybe the first time takes a little bit more time than usual, but it's already installing and launching the app. And here is our drawing application. So right now we have the stop bar which shows the time and all the notification icons. And we have also this title bar, which is showing the title of our app, in this case, drawing app. We want to hide these two bars. To hide those bars, we go back to the IDE, and on the left, under the rest, and then values folder, we will open the styles.xml file. And as you can see, here we can change the items of our current app theme. So to, to hide those bars, we will create a new item. The first being window no title, which is the title bar. And we'll set this to true. So we don't want a title. And we will also create a new item that will say uh, full screen. Let me see. Window full screen, as you can see. And we will also set this to true. After we've done this, we will run the app again to check if the changes took effect on the emulator device so right now it's installing and as you can see there's nothing shown so both bars are hidden and all we have is a white rectangle 
which is exactly what we want for now. Okay, basically to draw on the application, what we have to do is to create uh, a kind of paint view, which will use the canvas object to, to draw into the display. To do that, we will create an external class, okay? So our external class we will be called uh, paint view actually. So to create external class, we go and right click under the Java folder and we will click on the package name. So in this, in, in my case is com that example dot drawing up. I will right click on that and click on a new Java class. And uh, the name of this class, I will set that to um, paint view dot, just paint view, you know, paint view, and then I click on OK. So now the IDE has created this new class for us. OK, so it says public class paint view, and we will continue to improve and um, modify this class to our drawing up meet. So the first thing we want to do is to extend the view class. To extend the view class is pretty simple. We will just type right here, extend view, okay? As you can see, of course, we have to import the view uh, object as you can see right here. And now we extend the, the view. As you can see, we have a, a warning right here, which tells us there's no default constructor available. So if we click here, which will create the constructor matching super, super uh, we can do that or we can also um, mm, we can also do it later manually but if we go and do this and choose the first for example uh, we have this constructor just to silence this warning okay doesn't really matter because we will write it anyway later okay okay great so this is the main method right but we will also um, kind of pass the attributes set if i'm not wrong let me see so after we do these we will uh, create a global variable of of paint in which we will call which we will will be called m paint for that we go and say private paint and we will call, uh, we have to import this. this. This class will enable us to draw, okay? So private paint and paint, okay? So we created the paint object. Right here, we will start setting up that object. So we're gonna say and paint equals to new paint, okay? And then we will start passing the parameters we want. For example, um, I will. We can set different styles, strokes, uh, lots of really useful stuff. So since we want to draw something, we will do the following. So we'll say m paint that set anti alias. We will set this to true. To enable anti-aliasing, okay, great, and we will set theater to true. To do that, we're gonna say m paint that set theater to true. So this is a, a basically uh, small uh, settings that we have to set in order for the app make it able to draw, which are not really important to go in deep of every one of these. So we will continue right now. So m paint that set color. And we will we will set this to um, to a color, for example, black maybe. So this is the kind of a the the color we are drawing with. So we're gonna say color dot uh, black. So we want to set that as default. So okay, as simple as that. So we set the color right now. Next, we're gonna set the style of M paint. So we're gonna say M paint, oops, 
and paint that set style. And as a style, we will pass um, paint actually paint that style that um, stroke because we will be drawing right. Okay, great. And now we will kind of set kind of a strong um, stroke um, style maybe. So M paint that um, set stroke join and here what we will do will be paint paint that join that um, round because we want kind of rounded endings on our as we draw. Okay. And we'll also set the stroke cap, which is again just aesthetic changes that are not that important. So set stroke, let me see stroke cap, paint that cap, that let's uppercase cap, painted cap that round again. Okay. So we've done this, and now we're gonna say the mode kind of extra mode which we won't use that much so we can set it to mold so um let me see and paint that set x for mode guess okay, transfer mode um uh, will be set to null right now okay and the last one will be set to alpha and paint that set alpha will set that to zero x ff to make it able to see what we're doing. Okay, so that's it for the constructor method, right? So that's the kind of main method, but we want also to create an initialization method in which we will pass the size of the user of the device screen, you know? So we have to know which size we will be drawing into, okay? So you're gonna say public void. Of course, we will have to call this from our um, main activity class. Init, we will call init, and we will pass the display metrics we get, which are the screen size, okay? Display metrics, metrics, and we will pass the stuff right here. So, right now we have our kind of a paint view, we'll still have to implement some more stuff, but it's extending a view. In order for us to complete this design, we will go to our activity main.xml file right here, and we will actually uh, get the view from code, so the view we created and displayed right here, I specified as XML. So how can we do this? Well, we will um, basically set these as um, inside the frame layout in order for us to later be flexible for us to change some stuff. So we create a, a frame layout, we will set the width to match parent, the height to zero dp, okay. Um, the weight will be set, um, we want to create two views with two different weights in order for us to simplify our life. So we want in this case to make the um, paint view show the 90% 90, 90 of the screen and at the bottom we will have a bar which will use the 10% maybe. We can change this later, not that important. So we're going to set this weight to 9, it will represent the 90% for us. Okay, and inside this frame layout we will actually specify um, our paint view which is called, we access it as com example drawing up that paint view okay so the width of this paint view will be much parent and the height will also be much parent in order for us to access this from code we have to assign it an id so you can say id and the id we will set to this will be paint view okay great so now we have created our paint view right here and we also will create um, the bottom bar I was just talking about. So the bottom bar will be a linear layout, the width will be much parent, the height will be 0 dp, and the weight will be 1. So this is weight 1 and the other was weight 9, so this occupies 
and the other 90%. Just a simple trick to avoid doing lots of uh, code and all of that. We solve everything here. Okay, great. So now we can create some buttons right here, maybe something that will enable us to change the colors are of the of what we're drawing with or something like that maybe to clear the current uh, drawing but we'll do that later okay we'll just leave it as it is and i'll actually set this background uh to to black so we'll create a black color for that we go under color.xml file and down here we'll create a new black color for that i open and say color name will be black okay and here i will specify number sign followed by six zeros which is black in hexadecimal okay now i have the black color if i go i can now close this um, file and I can go to activity main and xml and as background of this linear layout i will set this to black okay so that's our linear layout and if i run the app now i can have an idea of what i just did right here you mean i mean the 90 10 percent so the app is running oh let me run it again it didn't run for some reason so the app is running and we have a sort of error maybe because we have not finished coding maybe we have some sort of error right here so let's let's check in lockcut to see what's going wrong with our application let me see so whenever something goes wrong we can go to lockcut as i'm doing and finding the actual line of code that's causing problems so right here we have that we have some error on our binary xml file okay 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 that's great because we haven't finished our so we haven't finished writing this class and we are already using it right here so if we select this and and comment this or delete for a moment and run the app again we will see that it is solved so i'm installing the app and as you can see it's solved and as I was telling you this white thing, which will be our paint view, will occupy 90% of the whole uh, screen height and the rest 10% uh, remaining will be occupied by our bottom, bottom bar. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you as a quick thing right here. And now we, we can uncomment this again. Okay. But we have to keep in mind that, that before running the app, we have to actually end writing this class. Okay, to write this class, we will um, continue to the init method. And we will get the height and the width of the metrics we, were, we are passing right here. To do that, we're going to say int height will be set to um, metrics that height pixels yes but this will return the whole height of the device which we don't really want we want the 90 percent of the whole height of the whole height of the device so we'll multiply these with 0.9 in, the, in that way we uh, create we get the 90 percent and we will cast these to double so as you can see it says me to cast it to double, so we cast to int actually, from double to int. So if we cast it to int, then everything works great. Now we also want to get the width, okay? The width doesn't change, so we're gonna say int width. Um, we'll say metrics that with pixels, as you can see right here. So now we have our height and our width, which is great, right? And we want to create our bitmap. So a bitmap will enable us to store the information of our canvas or where we draw our stuff, right? So we will create our bitmap and we will um, access it and initialize it. Okay, 
So I'm gonna say bitmap. Um, I will call it uh, M bitmap, for example. And I will set this object to bitmap that create bitmap. And we will pass the parameters as first we'll pass width, then we'll pass height, then we will pass the configuration of our bitmap. So we want it to be able to display colors. For that, the most useful configuration is bitmap that config that RGB eight 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 eight. Okay, so right now we have set up our bitmap and we also want to set up our canvas. So we're gonna say canvas. Okay, canvas, I will call this M canvas. And I will set this to new canvas and I will create a new canvas with the bitmap I set up previously. So I will pass M bitmap, which is great. So now we have created our canvas with our bitmap. Okay, great. So this is basically what we have to initialize in this method. Okay, so we also will have to deal with colors and all those, those sort of things. But for now, we will leave it there and we will create another method which will be the on draw method. Okay. To do that, we will override the on draw method. So override um, protective void on draw. Let me see if I'm right. Yeah, on draw. And we will get the canvas right here. So canvas, canvas. Okay, and right here, we will kind of save the canvas in order for us to draw a new color or something like that. Okay, so you're gonna go and say canvas that save. So this enables us to, to save the state of the canvas. Then what we will do will be we have to access our previously created canvas, which is these canvas right here. So you have to create this as a global variable, okay? So you go before the paint view method and type private canvas m canvas. Now that object can be accessed from the under method. So you're gonna say m canvas that set um, not actually draw color. We want to set kind of the background color. Draw, draw color. And this background color will set it to color that white. Okay, so the background of our drawing application will be white. Great. Now we will define how our finger moves through this screen in order for us to draw on the canvas. Okay. So we will have to define that. To define that we will go to our main activity.java file. Okay. So we go to our main activity.java and we will define something that we will call our finger path. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go after the onCreate method, we're gonna create a static class. For that, we're gonna say static class finger path. Okay. We open the element right here and we will define this class. We have its own color, the stroke width, and the path itself. Okay. So first, we go and say int color. We have int stroke stroke width okay and path oh, so here we as path we will import the graphics one so as you can see right here I'm importing the graphics path 
okay 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 what i just did okay everything is great now path and as path we'll call it just path okay so now we will create a constructor method which will be finger um, path so finger path right here and we will pass these a color of course in order for set to set the color we'll pass of course the stroke width and we'll also pass the path okay and inside this we will just set them so we can say this that color equals equals uh, color the same with the other one so these that stroke width equals stroke width so we're setting new parameters or finger path what we do when we touch with our fingers okay and now these that path will be set to path and now we have created our finger path which is awesome so right now we can go back to our paint view that Java, and now we can finish with our undraw method. So, right here, what we will do is we will get the finger paths we have on our activity main or main activity, and we will set the color and the stroke and and all of that, right? Okay. So we're gonna say. We're going to say for, so this is for each loop, for main activity, let me see, for main activity, that finger path, we'll call this FP, for example, and we will switch it with paths. Okay, so what are those paths right here? So those paths will store the actual paths okay of our application so how can we find or or actually define those paths well these paths are will be created as an array list of finger paths so we go and create it as a global variable so go ahead and say private um, array list array list as you can see and the data type of this array list will be main activity dot finger path okay and we'll call these paths and we'll set these to new array list okay so now we have our paths um, global variable right here so what do we have to do now is continue writing the for loop we open this loop and we're gonna say m paint dot set color and we'll will be set to the path color in this case fp dot color okay now we'll set the stroke width so we're going to go m paint dot set stroke stroke width and we'll be set to fp dot stroke width okay we also will set the mass filter to null in order for us to make the draw look kind of a what we want and we'll set mpain that set mask filter to null okay and we will actually draw the path right now to draw the path we're going to say m canvas that draw path draw path and we'll pass of course fp that path and we will also pass the paint and paint and and this is how we we do this for every loop right here but now we have to actually um, display these changes to the screen to do that we're gonna say outside the for loop of course um, canvas canvas dot 
that draw bitmap draw bitmap and inside this we will say mbitmap which is not accessible again so we have to make mbitmap accessible for that we go to our init method and make mbitmap a global variable the same we did with mcanvas so we can go like here and go private bitmap mbitmap now that can be accessed from the on draw method and draw path we will pass mbitmap right here and we'll also path pass the kind of um, where we wanted to start from in this case will be zero zero so we want to start from scratch and now we're gonna say and we have to to pass the paint of this to pass the paint of these we will kind of uh, create a new paint for these that we will be called M bitmap paint and we will create that as a global variable so we can create it right here we go ahead and say private paint m bitmap paint and we'll, we'll create it as new paint and we'll pass the parameter mm, paint that dither flag so we can have it ready okay now we will use it as our last parameter right here so we'll pass um m bitmap paint and with this method with this line of code we're drawing the bitmap and after we draw we will restore the canvas so you can say canvas that restore okay so now we have restored the canvas and now we have finished creating our creating our on draw method. This is for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And I see you in the next video in which we will continue working on the app. I see you later and thanks for watching. Bye.